All right, so let's, let's, let's tell a story, right? Imagine you always had like something that you really wanted to do, right? It was always in the back of your mind, but you never actually was like, all right, let me go out and find out what it takes to do it. One day you really get like the chance to actually do it without even trying and it really happens. And that just opens the door to a whole new perspective of life. You realize life isn't just about doing the things that everyone tells you to do, like going to getting a good job and getting money and wife, kids, all that or husband, kids, then it's like, this is kind of cool. I get to go out every day and live off of a passion. But while you're doing that, you tend to forget where you started because you are in a whole new lifestyle. So you kind of like just forget your foundation. Whew, that's deep. Oh, Holy Spirit moving. Okay, that's literally exactly what I did. And that was my story. It's so funny because if you go down the line, I'm a pastor's kid. And the thing about pastor's kids is like, you kind of are born into your faith, which means that you don't really have your own faith until you find God for yourself. I was living off my parents' faith, but I was also really in the world because I thought I was going to be a computer science major. I thought I was about to be coding. Boom, God changed my life and said, nah, you're going to do modeling. And then you're going to go from modeling into creating content and people all across the world is gonna see your stuff. You know, with somebody with a firm foundation, that would be lit, cause like you gonna stay dialed in with God and stuff. Me? Nah, didn't do that at all. Won't lie to you. Hey, bruh, I'm making something. One thing that has been made so apparent to me is that I wasn't necessarily being me. Everything I started with this whole content stuff has literally just been me being me. All the ideas was just like me and then I grew in community and stuff like that. And then how you started changing, like this stuff started to become what fuels my life. It makes me money. Then your, your, your perspective starts to change. I feel like it only changed because I wasn't really rooted in anything. What you commit to is what's gonna be your life. And that's when I realized that I really made IG, making content for it, like I made that my life, I made that who I was and that's not the case at all. And like, it doesn't only have to apply to like Instagram and stuff, that's just my case. I know a lot of people that probably agree that once you commit to that job, once you commit to that person, you are only about that person. You kind of forget like yourself. You kind of forget the God that made you. That's <laughs> the main thing that happened to me. I'm so thankful when I tell y'all, he is so awesome just because of how he works. And you won't know that until you really lock in with him. And that's what I had to do. Not even I think, I know this is about more than me. It's not my calling to be in front of the camera and like it be all about me. Like I'm here to share, but I gotta remove me out of it if that makes sense. And hopefully it does make sense to some people because putting myself first or putting things first over him is, has really shown me that I'm tweaking. Like I'm really bugging out, I ain't gonna lie. And when you put him first, you start to look at life in a different perspective because I would start to think about how people would look at me, how things would do, how many views I would get, how many followers I would get. But in reality, that was all dealing with me. How many people did I want to see me? I was sad about how many people didn't see me. I was sad about, I guess, the lack of growth that I was having really made me understand God only gives things to people who are capable of it. Like the story of the talents. If you don't have the capacity to share to X amount of people or to work on something in such a big way, he's not gonna give it to you. He's only gonna give you what you can handle. I didn't have that perspective then. So I would think like, yo, why isn't my page continuing to grow like it was doing before? Because I'll keep it a stack with y'all. When I first started, my page was like 5,000 to like 10K and like less than three days and then 10K to like 50 couple months after that. And then 50 to like 100 something. And now we're at 100 something. This is a IG I'm talking about. He only gave me what I could handle. And even then I probably couldn't even handle it, but I was really trying and I wasn't really looking to him all the time. And that's what messed me up because I thought I can do it all by my own accord. Like I can do it all by my own thoughts. Obviously you cannot. If you try to move through life by yourself, it's chalk to be very honest with you. This is me fully committing to using YouTube as my platform to glorify God and just offer whatever he wants me to. And I understand that it's not about to be me just preaching to y'all the whole time, <laughs> but it's just, I'll be showing my life and showing how he's changed my life in terms of like my actions and just how I think and how I live and stuff now. So it's a work in progress. It's nothing that I have locked down. I promise you the way he's been breaking my walls down and making me understand that you don't got it, all figured out i definitely understand that now so you guys will just be witnessing my walk and i pray that you are able to feel him or see him and all that i do and if you can't 
That means I'm doing something wrong. So please let me know. <laughs> if I don't feel him everything I do, then that means something's wrong. So I'm just keeping my heart straight with him and praying that he's just gonna have his way and just, you know, help people. I'm just a vessel. Yeah. <laughs>